Generic greetings and welcome back to Subnautica once again. In the previous episode we had a little roam around. We went over, I think it was there near the shallows and then somewhere that way as well. And we managed to find two life pods. Sadly, no one was actually inside it. In fact, we did uh, forget, or I did forget, to uh, check out one of the survivors, which is life pod 3. So we'll have a listen really to that. think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light line. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Hmm. So it looks like they're trying to make a sea glider tour them, and um, it didn't entirely work out. Or at least we, well, assume that because we haven't found them anywhere. We managed to get some more resources, a lot more resources, in fact. As you can see, we've got almost a full pocket here, which is very, very useful indeed. We do want to go ahead and make a compass, which is in... where is it? It is... Uh, there. We need a wiring kit, and a wiring kit requires that we have silver ore. Now, we do have, I believe, one silver ore. Uh, no, that is salt deposit. I'll pick that up and get rid of it. I'm also going to get rid of um, these two things here. We do not need the nutrient blocks. I'm also going to pick up the flares and put them around as well, just so we can empty our pockets. There we go. We'll get rid of some of that, and then we'll go down, and then we will, say, drop uh, that one, and that one, and that one, because we can't drink them. Uh, we'll also get some flares in our hand, and what we're going to do is fling them around, just so we know that this is, this is, like, our spawn point. I think they do go after a while, but I'm just going to get rid of them anyway, because we don't really need them for anything major. Okay, so we'll have a look in the boxes, so in here, here, uh, that's nothing in there, and in here there is one silver ore, but only the one, which is a shame, because we need two of. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of some of these resources, and we've also just got another radio message, so let's have a listen to that one, and here we go. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Oh. Aurora, do you read? Over. Well, I can't reply back to him. Nothing but vacuum. He's all Terra ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help. They don't pick up. Hmm. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take hmm. more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Uh, ideally, yeah. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Hmm. Okay, so the Sunbeam might be coming to rescues. That'll be useful. Uh, in any other event, we need to have a look around and try if we can uh, rescue ourselves. So we haven't been this way. I'm using the Aurora as like a... Like a... A makeshift compass. So I know I'm going along the same size to its engines. So we're going this way. And we'll see what we can find over here. This is a... Oh. Okay. That looks dangerous. Yeah, that looks... Oh, yeah, that's 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 all kinds of warm. Yeah, we're not going... Yep, that, that's a future's problem. In fact, it's not even a future's problem because it's uh, not something we're going to deal with. <laughs> we are, however, going to get some oxygen and then go in the depths here. So we'll go up and that's fine. And we'll head down and we'll see what we can find around about here and immediately we come across another bit of wrecked ship and a big hole which we'll have a look down in but a moment so over to the scanner and oh what the hell is that okay it is firing some sort of data that's um not good so we'll keep moving so it can't hit us and uh, yep looks like it uh, did in fact miss so we'll just start picking up some resources there and we'll see what we've got here we've got a table for a start of bar table yeah that's going to be not very useful, but whatever. We'll have a scan of that. We've also got some different fragments. There's a Seamoth fragment. Now, it's not the Seamoth that we have a problem with. It's the... Oh, there's a scanner room fragment. We've got all of these bits, but we just don't have the build bay. And that's the main problem at the moment. That we've got things like the scanner room, but not a build bay. And I'm trying to find... There's a le There's lead. I'm trying to find some more resources. See, there's another scanner room. Part. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a way in here. There must be a way in. Mm, I mean, there the, the mustn't be a way in. The, 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 like, there doesn't have to be a way in, but you would think there'd be. Another scanner room fragment. Obviously, we're just getting two. 
bits on there. Two bits of uh, titanium. We're going to head straight up here. Looks like it's another Leviathan zone. I'll call them Leviathans. They're not Leviathans. They're something else, but... There we go. And we are a bit close to that ship, actually. And with its drive core not being too fantastic, I... Uh don't know whether we want to be so close. Anyway, let's see if we can find a way in. Um, oh, straight in the top. That's ideal. So we'll have an open to this. And what we've got, it is water. So we're not going to bother. But we do have a PDA and also a data box. We'll open the data box up and we find the Ultra Glide Fins, which seem useful. Or at least sound useful. So what have we got around here? Uh, disinfected water. Got some cargo boxes. I thought something around here was in want of a scan. I'm sure something did pop up and say it could be scanned. Ah, a battery charger fragment. That's good. Problem is I can't see. Let's turn the light on. Aha! There we go. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Yes! That's just what we wanted. Right, this is useful. Need to build a torch. <laughs> Need to build a torch. Okay, so we will head back up and then we're going to come straight back down actually because we need to find some more silver because we need these advanced wiring kits. But the advantage that we have... Hang on, is that reef back coming out the top there? I think it is. I think it is. Well, what's the proper name for it? Let's let's see what the proper name for it is. It is... Um, Digital Slice Forms... It is herbivores. No, it's a leviathan. It is a reef back. Yeah, it is a leviathan. Right, so the catch-all name for these things is leviathan. But it is a reef back, technically. Alright, good to know. So, we'll have a look over here. This is limestone. We're actually wanting sandstone, I believe. Sandstone is what we want. And what's in here? Passing 100 meters. Ooh, whatever it is, it looks really cool. And also, full of things that are almost certain you're going to sting us. Yeah, it's called a dropping stinger. I wonder what that does. Obviously, it stings. Mm, we'll have a quick look around. What's this? Sandstone, that's gold. Silver ore, that's what we want, but we've, we can't pick it up because we are too full of other things. So I'm going to drop that. Silver ore, that's fine. Um, I can hear the shark behind me, but quite honestly, I'm faster than with this thing, so I'm not too bothered. Also picked up a, one of those mushrooms, and we don't need it, so I'll drop it. Okay, that was useful. That was good. So we'll have a another quick look in here. There's some lead. But we do have two silver ore, so that's what we wanted. So let's not mess around. Straight back up. Go and get some building done. So we'll break the surface with a splash, and look how far you get up. <laughs> quite good. Okay. So... We'll head back, we will build a vehicle bay, we'll build ourselves, uh, I think we're going to go for a for a sea moth, which is the mini sub. Mini sub, very, very useful because it, um, it, takes, it takes a different type of battery. You can charge it up in a base, but we haven't made a base yet, but we might even go for that. It just depends on what resources we've got. We've got a lot of titanium, we've done good scavenging and good, uh, good hunting as well, so, yeah. It just depends on what rare resources we have or don't have. I want to build a base as fast as possible, just for storage purposes, really. Okay, so we will have a look. We've got a uh, titanium ingot, which I will not make just yet, because what I want to check out is this. Ah, mobile vehicle bay, you need a power cell, lubricant, and titanium ingot. So we will do a titanium ingot. There we go. And that takes 10 titanium, which is good, because quite honestly, we've got a lot of titanium and it clears our uh, space out there. We also did get something else. What was it? Uh, uh, we've got a rebreather there. We've also got a floating air pump, which is useful for pumping stuff down. We've got fins, high capacity O2 tank. Um, we do need a habitat builder at some point, pathfinder tool. Uh, let's go for what I was going to go for originally, which is a compass, which is a wiring kit. So we will go for one unit of... And there we go, which means straight away I can get a compass. Uh, there we go. And that should then give us the direction. Yeah, up the top there. So you can see we now got, it says uh, east, north, 
quest, etc. We've got some micro stuff going on as well, which is a little bit annoying. Anyway, so we need to make a vehicle bay. And in order to make that, we need lubricant, which I believe requires two of these C clusters. No, it requires one of them, so that's okay. So you now have the lubricant, we have the titanium ingot, and we need a power cell. Power cell will require almost certainly some mushrooms that we can get in a moment. Power cell is two batteries and one silicone rubber. Silicone rubber is made by getting uh, another creep vine seed cluster. So what we'll do is we'll drop down, we'll go over to here, we will see, yeah, we've got nothing in there. How much space do we have? Oh, more than enough. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll pick up one of these acid mushrooms there, and then we'll go two, three, four. That should be enough for us there. Then we'll head over to these these clusters here, because what we're looking for, these uh, viney things, we're going down, and we're picking up one, and then two. And there was also something, and I she would said it re could be scanned. Yes. Oh, the creep. Ah, oh, right. I've I've scanned the creep vine, but not the seeds. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Understood. Not too much of a problem there, but that should be enough for us to make the batteries because we need two batteries. So we will go into this and say electronics batteries. You can't stack your build orders up, so you can't say build me a power cell. And if it could build a power cell, it will. It doesn't work that way. So it does require two batteries and one silicone rubber. Silicone rubber is quite easily made. There we go. What? A quantum detonation has occurred in the drive core? That doesn't sound good. Um. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that went all kinds of boom. I think the reactor just blew up. And that's radiation. Okay, yeah, let's go down into there. Right, now we're playing Fallout. Now it's just Water World. Any second now, Kevin Costner's gonna come along. So, radio message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Mm -hmm. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Mm. I didn't know how bad. How many of you? I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Thank you. That would be most what helpful. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR, and I blew it. So uh. All right, but so are all the others. That's not good to hear. I wish he'd turn the, uh, the microphone off when he said that. Okay, we can now make a radiation suit, and we have now just made a vehicle assembly bay. Uh, fiber mesh is required to make that. Fiber mesh comes from creep vine samples. But what I'll do is I will go down, and uh, we'll probably build our vehicle bay. So we'll say vehicle bay. Oh, it's already in our hand, so we'll just drop it. And we should be able to climb aboard. There we go. Right. And dandy, so we'll use vehicle bay, and we'll see what we can make. So we have our sea moth, which requires two glass, one lubricant, a power cell, and some titanium ingots. So most of that is fairly simple and something we can make about now. Also, it does say radiation, uh, uh, sorry, radiation suit as well, and, well, we don't have one, and so far, I don't know, well, I don't know at the moment where... Why we would need it for this point, because we're not going to go near the wreck, but we'll see just how far that uh, radiation extends. Anyway, we've made a titanium ingot there. We're going to make another glass, because I think we need more of that. We also need some lubricant, which will go for that as well. And then we'll see just how close we are to building this. So we'll go back on board and see what we can build. We now have... We now have titanium ingot, lubricant, lead, and one glass. So we need one more glass, and we need a power cell. Power cell being... Oh, good grief. That was not something I wanted to do. Power cell is a couple of batteries. So let's have a quick look. So we'll make a battery. And we don't have another one. We do need to make... And we need two more acid mushrooms in order to do that. And then we'll need, for a power cell, it'll be silicone rubber, which we have. So it's one more battery, actually, and then some lubricant. So go down. We'll go one, two. We'll then head over this away. 
I don't like the hologram. I just prefer the the light on it. I don't uh, find the hologram very useful at all, actually. Cool to see clusters. And we've got another another radio. I'll tell you what, it's all, it's all go today. It's just people are trying to contact each other and get rescued. Right, so up here. Play the radio message while we crack on building this. Is gone. That's not good. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Oh. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so apparently the Ah, life pod 19's over there, 300 meters down. They said they're gonna, they're gonna go towards land. Well, as far as I can see, there ain't no land. Okay. Uh, glass. We need glass. One more glass, we'll be able to get our sea moth. So one, two. Glass. There we go. And that should be it. Let's see if we can get our sea moth. Here we go. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. <laughs> and there we go. We now have a sea moth. And a very nice a very nice one it is too. Is there so many sub? And we can have a little drive around. Excellent. Sweet. Right, let's just see how far this radiation extends, shall we? Did say radiation. I wonder if I have to be outside. Ow, oh, that's not good. I got out and then the sea moth crashed into me. <laughs> that's not ideal. That's far from ideal. Okay, I'm just going to head towards the... Aurora. So far, no problem. No problem whatsoever, actually. So I don't really know what the big deal is. We're already a couple of hundred metres out from our stand location as well. I'm getting right near the back of the... Ow! Ow! Okay, nearly, nearly, nearly stop doing that. <laughs> so far, no radiation. However, we are getting into sort of unknown dangerous territory, which I really don't want to navigate. So let's just head back. <laughs> let's just head back. So, we now have a sea moth. As you can see from the top there, we have a 200 meter crush depth. So if we go to that, it will start conking out and we don't want that at all. However, there are places we can visit. For example, down there. Um, if we go in here, this should be... I believe, yeah, it's the cave entrance to the mushroom area, and there's a base of some kind. So I think we know what we're going to do next episode. Right, let us go back and, for a start, get healed up, because quite frank, I think I just hit a fish. Quite frankly, um, after getting run over by my own sea moth a couple of times. Not entirely ideal. In fact, what I might do, though, I'm going to stop... Um, I'm going to stop here for a moment. I'm going to place a beacon. We'll let that beacon go. And we'll change the name of said beacon to... Um, cave. So we know... that We know where to come back, because otherwise that would just be a nightmare. <laughs> Finding that, losing that, it, yeah, it would just not be good. And uh, it has happened before. Luckily, 
I'm getting a bit of a bearing on where I am because your starting location of your pod it um, it is random the, the the map is not but uh, some of the spawns and other things are but the map itself is not so what's important is if we we, we need to get our bearings so I know that that's a cave that way there is uh, hang on. I think that way there is uh, where we'll put our base but we're gonna go up no messages to play Gonna get another first aid kit, we're gonna use that. And then what else do we need? Radiation shoot shoot? A radiation suit would be useful, but do we need it now? Ideally a torch as well. A battery in glass. Yeah, let's get that made. Quite honestly, because the amount of times I've needed a torch. I've not had one is uh, astounding, actually. <laughs> so pick up two of those, and what else did we need? Oh yes, we needed some quartz. So uh, none there, and loads there. Easy. There you go. So one glass, one battery. And one torch. A flashlight, I guess. There we go. So we should be able to now put the flashlight like that. There you go. On and off. Obviously, we've got the flares down, so it's all lighting that up anyway. Right, fantastic. Excellent. So we're going to leave it there. Um, not ideal, the engine of that blowing up and it now saying radiation suit can be made 300 meters down uh, for that there is it is possible but it is quite a ways so i might investigate that and then come back the problem is that we don't really Don't really have a ideal way of going there and back. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Either way, we have our submarine, so we can get there quite quickly and save the uh, resources for this. We do eventually want to go for a base. Now, a base will be used... Well, we'll use the... Uh, where is it? The tool in here, which is the Habitat Builder, which requires a wiring kit, a computer chip, and a battery. The battery, very easy to make. Wiring kit, also easy to make. If we have the silver, we need two silver. Computer chip, not so much. Computer chip requires copper wire, uh, a table coral sample, and gold. Actually, so we can... Actually, we can make that now, almost. In fact, we can make that now. We'll go down, and if we go to this, this is, in fact, table coral. So we go one, there we go, and two. And we now have two table coral samples. I don't know why a computer chip requires that. But either way, we can make a computer chip out of the gold, the copper wire, and everything else. And it's a very, very big one there as well. We've also got now an advanced wiring kit, apparently. So we can make, or we can't make, but we will be able to make eventually a wiring kit and a battery. Battery will require probably some more copper. Yeah, we're totally out of copper now. So unless there's some in here, which there is actually. Um, we can make a battery. We just don't have the silver. So we're going to, I think what we're going to do is have a little explore of either the cave or that over there. As well as we need to just head towards the uh, the south just to have a look around there because it's somewhere we've missed. So that's going to be next episode. Let's just see how far we get on. Good progress, I think. I hope you have enjoyed the video and enjoying the series so far. By all means, let me know in the comments. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.